Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Aaron and in today's video, I'm going to be actually reviewing the Android Marshmallow that is Android 6.0 and I will be telling you some key features of Android Marshmallow and also the changes which have been done from the previous version of Android that is Android Lollipop. So, by just starting off our video, I want to mention one thing that if you have, will like my video then make sure to subscribe my channel and without any further ado, let's get started. First we are going to show is the Google itself as it is written. And after that there is a quick look at the animations. Uh, it has got a new animation as you can see here. Let me just zoom in for you guys. As you can see there is a bunch of different animations going on and it's pre looking pretty good also. After the animation is done you can see Android it is written here. And the first thing which you are going to see right now is the clock also you can see as it is gone a bold thing and here you can see if you swipe right you got the camera itself and instead of uh, swiping left comes up the phone uh, it's basically now a google voice for and it and it searches by your voice only as you can see here so uh, firstly i'm going to show you that we are on android marshmallow and just by Going to settings, going to about phone, system, uh, and Android version 6.0. As you can see, it's written Android Marshmallow, and it will be of different colors whenever you just click on it. And here we have the Easter eggs and just a game here, like a flappy bird of Android. And just a cool little game. Uh, if you want to and we have the new animation in this game also as compared to the android lollipop the other changes are in the wallpaper also as you can see i am going to show we have got a bunch of different wallpapers here as you can see like this these one and if you want to download it for your device also i will be putting a link in the description box down below where you can download these wallpapers and i pretty much like uh, just this one and just going to just save it like this as we have saved it right now and the other uh, change in this is the widgets in the widgets app as you can see if you open this you have this now vertical scrolling here also coming up with this uh, section also and if you have multi multiple widgets for a, a for one app it's going to be such like a, it's going to scroll just horizontally We have a, one more change also in the menu section also as you can see here we have now vertical scrolling in this and followed by this thing which you and one one thing you can see if you just go to just just like J character the first app which which is followed by the J character sh shows up like a pop, pop up like that as you can see here just style here and here L for layout and just and just other other things also and now one quick tip that if you just hold the menu section and it just quickly just tell you to search for your app if you want to search and if you just click it like this you just go to the menu and if you hold this uh, for it sorry uh, if you hold this then you just directly go to the search thing and you can search for your app and open it and one more also feature is added that if you just from the desktop menu if you tap and hold the one app or something and if you go to just the right part of this you have this now uninstall from the desktop basically in android lollipop you have to just dig into your menu and just find the app and just then you have to uninstall but it, it is not there but you can now easily uninstall by your desktop only so the thing i which probably most liked about this uh, android marshmallow is that it does comes with it and Google's now on tab uh, and I'm going to do a demonstration of it basically what you what was earlier that if you just click and hold this uh, the home menu just it go, just goes to it to the Google and you does do have this thing right here if you just scroll down by the uh, desktop but you now have this uh, Google's now on tab which I'm going to demonstrate right now for example I'm going to do the uh, demonstration of Google's now on tab what you have to do uh, if you're just scrolling up and down enough on Facebook or uh, something for example I'm going to find out some some 
information about this person and what I have to do just basically you have to tap and hold your button this one and it just search from what you have want to search from this page and it just tells you about the information which you wanted and it also tells you can find it on Google, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus, News, etc. and etc. So this was a basically a demonstration of the Google's now on tap. There is a hidden feature in the Android 6.0 Marshmallow that is if you just hold press and hold down this settings button you can see it's spinning r really fast and for holding for some time and you just click and it says that congratulate congrats system UI tuner has been activated and if you just scroll down right here you can see the system UI tuner by clicking it it says fun for some but not for all I'm just going to understood that and the things which are which are mentioned in here is the quick settings if you click on it you can basically organize the things which are on your uh, which are here um, on the status bar so I can just move it right here or there uh, as the way I want it and I can also add some titles uh, it has some bro broadcast title you can add for that so the second feature in the system U UI is the status bar and by clicking it what it basically does that you can uncheck or check the things which you want on your uh, status bar right here for example I'm going to just disable Wi-Fi right here and uh, sorry and I'm going to Wi-Fi and you can see that you uh, you uh, it just disappear from the status bar and if you can also just do it for the other things also for example the alarm and do not disturb or the Bluetooth and there are more examples also and it is uh, there's also feature called show embedded but battery percentage but uh, what basically it do it just tells your battery percentage and by just enabling it you can see right here that my battery percentage you can see right now sorry for that that my battery percentage is just 15 uh, 15 percent and also right here you can see it's written 15 percent and it's also a good feature for letting you know the your battery percentage of your phone let me take a screenshot of something and by, by just scroll uh, pushing the volume down button and the power button both exactly at the same time and once you have taken the screenshot you can scroll down and also scrolling down you can see there is a delete button that and what it basically you can do what if you have just accidentally just take, taken a screenshot you can actually delete from the status bar only you not have to go to your gallery and just go d dig into your gallery app and just find it and just delete that screenshot here I'm going to delete it right now so I as you can see it has been deleted right now next up we have in the battery option but what it basically it's if you just click on one thing that it's gonna show you how much uh, milliampere of battery it has used uh, and uh, the others also if you can see right here as you can see it's uh, showing us that uh, the screen has taken 404 milliampere and there is one more option is the battery optimization and one uh, and also one more feature is the Android dose which I uh, uh, which I ca currently can't show you right now but basically it's I can explain you that what basically it does that if you just lock uh, just keep your phone like this and just don't use your phone for a, um, quite a long time that what it's going to do it's going to save your battery by just closing the uh, apps which are currently being used uh, when your phone is off the next up is the app permissions one if you go to your apps and just click on this settings you have the app permission and here it tells you that which apps are using which uh, sensor uh, for example which have been allowed for example the body sensor uh, if you click on it it's going to show you who those apps which are using your body sensor which have been given permission and you can just disable them and just by just doing like this and you can just easily disable them and here are the cameras and the contacts and all, all others and the next we have this battery op uh, optimization as you have told you earlier these are the all apps which are which are enabled for the battery optimization and these are that are not not for uh, enabled for the battery optimization and also if you just go to your apps and just click on any app for example I'm going to this and if you scroll down here you can see the permissions one and if you just click on it it's going to tell you the permissions it's, it has been granted for that for the telephone storage SMS location contacts whichever it has been granted for and you can just disable it from right here 
and the other is for this sh in the shading option and what you can see if, uh, for example I'm going to share uh, this file uh, this photo right here and what is basically the changes that here you can see it, uh, the all the apps are listed in a grid view and if you if you send messages to a particular person many times and then it's going to show its contact also where you if you want to send him directly or not and the other big change is there is the mem is the memory uh, section right here and what it basically does it tell you tells you how much ram has been used by your uh, android device for a, a couple of hours for example here are the for three hours and you can just take it on six hours and also for 12 and also one day also and also if you just click down right here memory used by apps you can just see how much RAM has been used particularly by an app and if you are right now going to storage and USB you can see that it's going to tell you how much RAM has been used by you and how much you can use right now and here you it's going to tell you how much has been taken uh, storage has been taken by apps, images, videos, etc. But the main thing is, if you just scroll down right now, it's there an explore one. If you just click on it, here you can see there's a little file explorer for and uh, inbuilt. It's uh, actually inbuilt, and it was it was required for a couple of times because it was not in the Android Lollipop. And as you can see, I'm just I can open anything from as li like I am from the doing it from the file explorer so guys that was basically it for this video hope you have enjoyed my video and if you have then make sure to subscribe by clicking right here or i will be putting my channel's link in the description box down below so make sure to check it out and also my google plus twitter facebook all the links will be in the description box down below and my official website is also out now and its link will be also in the description box down below and yes, that's basically it for today's video guys. Hope you have enjoyed. And this is Ayn Sidera signing off for now. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.